I see how it is. Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and literally pressing the start recording button almost crashed the thing. And this is a subreddit that was not recommended to me by anyone in the audience. I just heard a few stories from it and decided, hey, this looks really interesting. I want to read it too. It's called r slash traumatize him back. Now let's get right into this and hope my computer actually survives. I already picked a few because it's one of these story type of subreddits that I love so dearly. My classmate was being flirty, so I reminded him and he likes him younger. I have this classmate. He isn't really that bad, but is really oblivious with an ego through the roof. He knows that I am in a happy relationship, yet tried to flirt with, with me. I told him that maybe uncomfortable, yet he did it anyway. As a friendly joke, at the same time he liked to complain about his relationship to me, ruling that he, 18, dates, dates mostly girls around, 50, around or under the age of 15. That is a crime. This is critical information. So this one time we were in labs, I go to chemistry school. He goes on his flirting and I am getting annoyed by the second. It's also important to note that our labs tend to be quiet since everyone is focusing on our work. On our work. So others are also annoyed at him for being loud. And at some point he said something along the lines of, You are exactly my type, you know that? Now in that moment, I had enough, so I just snapped back really loudly. Oh really? I thought your type was minors. His face freezed in that moment, and you could hear a pin drop in the lab. He mumbled something and went back to his work. He blew up me over text, but I just reminded him that if he didn't want to anger me, he should listen to me when I tell him I'm uncomfortable. I don't talk to him anymore because of his reasons, but I still relish in that moment and his red face. Yeah. You deserve that. Anyway. Don't make egg jabs to someone with hard sold shoes. So this happened several years ago, but I thought that this would be a good place to post. So when I, 19 in well, was about 11 or 12, I was getting severely bullied for being different on diagnosed autism. One day after school, my dad was running late to pick, picking me up and my older sister. One of the ringleaders of the bullying happened to be a teacher's child, so never got in trouble. The teacher's son and one of his friends were making crude remarks like, to me like always, so I warned him that I'd throw my shoe at him if he didn't stop. He didn't, so I tied my shoe, then kicked it as hard as I could. It came flying off my foot, and it was square in the forehead. Just as I went inside, my dad came and, and picked me and my sister up. I never got in trouble at home or at school for that incident, and the bullying stopped. That... Is well deserved. So this person is asking, what do they do? What do I do? So ever since I was in second grade, I've gotten bullied by this girl for my weight. She would call me fat, go out of her way to embarrass me in front of others. Once it's hit me, and this went on from 2nd to 7th or 8th grade. I'm now a senior in high school, but I literally can't forget what happened. It's hard to feel comfortable in my body because of it. And I developed an eating disorder. In 8th grade, where I would eat so much to the point that I wasn't even hungry anymore. And just throw it up after. Bulimia. Ow. Ooh. That's not good. No one knows. No one I know knows about it. It feels like no one's gonna understand me, but anyway. The reason 
and why I couldn't before, and now this is my stuff from her, is because we live in the same neighborhood, go to the same school, share a lot of the same friends, and our parents talk to each other. That's why I hope I get into a really good college out of state from where I live, so I can get the heck away from her. And you know how people say one to me, and girl, always mean girl? They're so right. I guess we're friends, but she goes out of her way to talk over me and exclude me from conversations. She would especially do that last year. And what makes me feel more crappy is that it feels like our friends are closer to her than to me, and I hate that because they don't understand what a fucking bitch she is. I hope she ends herself. Anyway, at the end, what should I do about my, uh, about my situation, guys? I apologize for yapping. So what? Okay. <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> if that isn't a sign for the site breaking, I don't know what is. Right, I just said no for a second there. Okay. How I made the popular kid hate me for the rest of my school time. Basically just matched their energy. Trigger warning, mental Ill issues like can't... Oh, medical issues. Wow, I did not read that. I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Trigger warning, medical issues like cancer, epilepsy. Bullying. So this happened a few years ago, but it's still one of my favorite stories of my school time. I, female twi- and they have multiple disorders, besides ADHD, autism, severe depression, and endometriosis. I do not know what that last one is. I have epilepsy, which I found out at the age of 12 by becoming unconscious at school. My older epilepsy medication had huge side effects, including acne. So I went on a field on a school trip. We weren't older than 15. I talked to a very nice girl in my class. She knows my acne got me a better over the week, which made me really happy. I explained that I had to start acne medicine, that, but that I was very happy about how well it worked and that, that I was in so much less pain now. One of my peers who didn't like me for some reason got into our conversation and told me, Really? I wouldn't take acne medicine because it can lead to weight gain. I was pissed at that point, since I already got way too much unwanted and stupid advice on my health. I tried to answer that I wouldn't start chemo since it could make me lose hair. She was already shocked, but I didn't stop there. I told her about my most traumatic hospital event. I explained to her that I was, I was peacefully eating an apple when I was 12, and suddenly I started having seizures that didn't stop for 24 minutes. An ambulance got to me in less than five minutes, but medication didn't stop my seizures as it was supposed to. Since I still had a piece of apple in my mouth, the medical professionals did everything to stop my seizures, including external or heavy medication. When my seizures stopped, I got into the emergency room, where I slept for almost two days. At that point, I was diagnosed with epilepsy, and doctors started to assume that I had a brain cancer. I woke up at the cancer station next to a four-year-old who, who had just as had brain surgery to remove his cancer. I told her that after all that and getting some weight, it doesn't scare me. Everyone's shocked. She was really upset, but like, but unlike usual, she didn't get the support of the entire class. I told her that she shouldn't have commented on, on someone's health choices if she doesn't want to look like an idiot. She asked for that and then told what that day as far as I know. But it was absolutely worth it. I hate when someone who is completely healthy comments on my health choices. As if I was ill for fun. Anyway, I never got on one health advice from peers or their parents since that day. It's been the next four years way easier for me. Even though the parents of that girl really hated me from that point. I mean... She pretty much... 
brought upon herself at that point. Oh, this one's actually formatted well. So it'll be actually longer than like a paragraph. Reverse Uno Trauma. For some background, I've been in no contact with my estranged father for many years. He's been in denial for the reasons and for that forever. Lately, he's realized he wants to see me before he croaks his words. As for usual, I didn't send him any reply, but naturally, that didn't stop of him from stalking me for a few weeks. You could see him on the security cameras, knocking on the porch, looking in the windows, and notes. The copious amounts of notes. <sighs> He was going up and down the neighborhood. Yeah, I refuse to call him oh, I'm bad at name. Leaving everyone notes containing his contact information. Should I be spotted at my own address? Yeah, the concept that I wanted nothing to do with him was completely inconceivable to him. But I dig digress. One of those neighbors was my favorite, Mr. Foe. Mr. Foe is a Vietnam veteran as in Vietnamese, who'd been fighting since before the Americans entered the war. He'd always been a kind, friendly gentleman, grateful for the U.S. to welcome his family to this country, and we've gotten along great. Only once was there any prejudice, is, and that was from a guy I was dating. However, I didn't know that a guy was racist until one day he asked Mr. Fo if he was Charlie. Charlie? gasped Mr. Fo. No, they put me in jail! Back to the present. Mr. Fo is coming around a lot after my dad's visit and stalking. Uh, asking personal questions and advising me to be aware that we're all gonna die someday. From that, I can see that my dad has gone to him and wondered that Mr. Fo is spying on me. That was unintentional, but uh, suddenly Mr. Fo has backed off a lot because of what I think he was charged with in and jailed for in Vietnam. I apologetic refers to Uno of Mr. Fo. Some clarification. The Vietnam War was a civil war between the American-backed Vietnam and the Communist-backed Viet Cong. The U.S. military abbreviated Viet Cong to VC and also referred to the Cong as Charlie. Being an American ally during the war, Mr. Fo had been jailed by the Viet Cong, aka Charlie. Ooh. I did not get it until oh, 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 that comment. Thank goodness is if we it clarified. Also, see, this is why you format. If you're gonna write on Reddit, it gets you more karma and it gets you more responses. Anyway, let's go to this one. Where once again, Reddit is being slow. I've got that country internet, don't worry about it. I took revenge for my bully by obeying her. There was this girl in my school who was a bitch but a coward at the same time. She would steal from my other classmates many times but cry when and she got caught or when called out for her bull crap. She would come crying to me after confronted by others for stealing and mostly and emotionally blackmailing on me for lying to save her her, her ass and give my stuff to her. Aren't you my best friend? Only shady people deny others. So me, being the scared introvert that I am, was always scared and mostly abused by her. She saw my favorite supplies and always belittled me. I always made weird remarks for other people and bitched about them to me. When the joke was on me, she faked laughed very loudly on purpose. She always said that if you don't let me take your stuff, I would complain to the principal. So whenever she said that, I said, okay then, let's go. She took me a little close to the office, being all angry and dominating, but when I, and I said nothing, confidently followed her, or awkwardly said, Oh, I was just kidding. She got scared by me so nonchalantly going to the principal's office and not being scared whenever she threatened me to do something, and I said, 
I said, okay, you can do that. She always bothered me because I was more antisocial than and scared of people. Being the ultimate coward that she was, got embarrassed and didn't do anything because she couldn't. Stop bothering me after that. Yep. And here for the last one we have pretty is short and sweet story. And it was short, but it was formatted very well. And also, it's really, really funny. A customer asked if I was pregnant, and this was my response. I wasn't sure if this was the right place to post this, but honestly, it's one of my favorite stories now. I'm an assistant manager in a clothes store, and one day I was serving a customer who just asked me if I was pregnant out of the blue. There's no small talk or anything. So it was just completely random. Anyway, without thinking, I replied immediately with, No, I'm just fat. The customer looked stunned and tried to reply, but could only be started before shutting up and hurrying out the story as quickly as possible. I started laughing. I usually get all flustered or end up thinking in a lot of awkward situations. So I was well trapped. And that was r slash traumatize him back. If you like this video, please be like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!